hard for you to see with all the stuff going on here, but uh, I have the compressor rough plumbed. Um, literally all of this was stuff that I already had on hand. That's why it looks so pieced together. Uh, I don't plan on spending any money on this. Um, start at the bottom, do a real quick... I'm going to do an actual video about how this is all put together, but uh, uh, we have a three-quarter inch coming out to a T. Uh, I've just capped the bottom right now. I'm probably going to put something on the bottom, but I'm not sure what. Uh, then we go down into quarter inch. From out of the quarter inch, we have a regulator and a uh, pressure gauge that shows the, the pressure coming out of this side. Um, I have another T up here with a cap in it. Um, this is just in case I want to add anything. Um, I do have all sorts of little plumbing bits and pieces in here. I can add on stuff if I need to. Um, go up from there. We have our uh, tank pressure. This is the pressure coming out of this end, out of the regulator. This is the tank pressure. Um, I'm going to have to put a new lens on this guy. Uh, it's just a cheap plastic piece of shit. And uh, it's clouded over after a few years of using it. Uh, up here, I have the uh, pressure control. Let's see if I can pop that off and show you. A little glare there. But... Uh, these, let me get up here, these two screws here allow me to control the amount of pressure that uh, the tank holds. Um, this one here allows you to control the on-off. Um, the more you tight, I believe, I believe the more you tighten it, the higher the on-off is. And then this one here allows you to control the uh, on, I believe. Uh, this is a, this one in the back here is a set ratio, and then you can adjust that set ratio with this one in the front. Uh, and then all it does is just opens when the tank is full, closes when the tank is is needing air. And then all I do is I take the wire that goes into my compressor, cut it, splice it into these connections here. Uh, also. I'm going to drill a small hole in the bottom of this, put a simple toggle switch in, and that'll be my on-off. Actually, my on-automatic. Um, this is the inlet from the compressor. The compressor is going to sit right in here somewhere. And then this will be tilted at a slight angle, uh, and they, they will fit. I'm going to build a frame. Uh, I'm going to build a frame out of this. You can't even see that. This box tube. Probably get a better picture over here. Yeah. This box tube here is going to be a frame. Or possibly the smaller stuff. Most likely the smaller stuff because I have more of it. It'll just be a, a leg on either side that comes across. And then in the center, there'll be a connector piece. And then coming up from that, there'll be another... Uh, another piece and then um, there'll be a joining thing in the middle with a little platform that this will sit on it'll raise it up about it'll probably sit about there so about what four inches higher than it is now and then I can adjust this here to go into this here um, this guy is our inlet for the air I will be putting a small uh, air filter on that just to keep shit out of it. Um, one problem I ran into with this guy is that it does not run when it's cold. Uh, which uh, kind of makes sense because it's a freezer compressor. If it's too cold to run, you don't need it to run in the first place. But uh, I don't know if I can work around that. Uh, but that's about it. Um, but like I said, nothing here is solid. See, it's all... Um, well, that's pretty solid, but this whole thing is not so solid. Um, what I'm waiting for right now, as you can see, it's a pretty wet day. And in fact, it's snowing right now. 
Um, so basically I'm just waiting for a nice dry day. Uh, I'm not, not so much worried about the cold, but I need dry days. Um, because I don't have space in here to use my cutoff saw. I gotta take it outside. And uh, working with cold, wet metal on the ground isn't fun. But uh, it should hopefully be almost complete by next week. Um, I don't think I'm going to actually do any finished painting on this since it's going to be just a around the workshop kind of thing. But uh, it should end up coming end up end up coming out pretty good, assuming I don't have too many leaks. That's one thing that. Uh, I gotta look out for with all these connections and this is, is leaks. But, uh, I think that's about it. You guys, have yourselves a good day.